This episode is about modules inspired by cellular automatons. They're an interesting source of triggers. More.ideas is an elementary cellular automata sequencer. A cellular automaton is a model of computation. It's like an infinite sheet of graph paper, along with a set of rules, for the cells to follow. So we have an initial state defined by the seed. The seed is a number from 0 to 255, represented as a binary octet. It's the center 8 pixels on the top row. On every input clock, the automaton creates a new generation according to a rule. Evaluating the nearest neighbor values, the module calculates the next generation, which is another number. The display shows how the automaton will evolve. The outputs on the right send triggers or gates according to the current number, as an octet. If we take a cell and its neighbors, we have three bits. In three bits there are eight permutations. According to the initial conditions, a rule will define how the cell will change in the next generation. Let's see rule 126. If a cell and its neighbors are all zeros or all ones, its next generation will be zero. If there are mixed zero and one cells, its next generation will be one. So we have 256 seeds for this particular rule. Based on the current number, there's a CV and a clock output. With the bit knob, we can choose which bit of the octet goes to the output. It's what the green light indicates. Polyscope is showing a nice set of gate outputs from more.ideas. Glitch Sequencer has a grid running Conway's game of life. It's another cellular automaton. There are certain rules. Any live cell with two or three live neighbors survives. Any dead cell with three live neighbors becomes a live cell. All other live cells die in the next generation. In the module, a clock must go to the step input to advance to the next generation. Some patterns remain the same over time, called still life. Others make a cycle and then return to their original form, called oscillators. Some patterns are like oscillators, but they return to their original form displaced in the grid. Those are spaceships. When we turn a lights channel on, we set the cells that will send a trigger every time they intersect with a living cell. Cells by 23 volts also uses Conway's game of life. The initial conditions are set randomly with the spawn input. There are 24 trigger outputs, each one of them between four cells. When one of these four cells is a live cell, the output sends a trigger. To complicate things more, the oscilloscope is showing a shape oscillator in the same layout of the outputs. So is a stereo signal where the triggers actually affect the shape of the oscillator. These are not the only cellular automaton modules available. Chaos and Automaton by QWELK are similar to more.ideas. Cyclica by Algorithmart is a cyclic cellular automaton, 
and even if you don't know how it works, it looks awesome. There's a paid module based on cellular automaton. It's cellular noise from the plug-in Semiramis by Sonus Dept. Oh dear 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 that's all folks. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. If you want to keep this channel alive, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell.